hibachi steak, signature sushi, teriyaki chicken. You know you've always wanted to try the real, authentic taste of Japanese cuisine in a relaxing traditional Japanese restaurant. So whether you would like to enjoy a full dinner or just a glass of wine and sushi, come on out to Ikaban Japanese Steakhouse. Conveniently located in the Center Stage Shopping Center on Memorial Boulevard. Come out and have your taste buds awakened by an authentic hibachi chef. I think we could probably all agree that the Robertson County area is a beautiful county and it's also growing and experiencing some growing pains as well. A one issue that the county has always dealt with at one level or another is illegal drug related activity. Another issue that we don't often think about that often goes hand in hand with illegal drug activity are gangs. If that's a surprise to you, it's not to Springfield Police Officer Charles Consiglio. At this year's annual Tennessee Gang Investigators Conference, Consiglio was selected and recognized as the Tennessee Gang Officer of the Year. How long have you been with the Springfield Police Department now? I've been with the department for going on seven years now. What was your um, job when you first started out with the uh, force? When I first started, I was just a general patrol officer. So you've been with the force for seven, and you've been with a special drug task force for three. But recently, you've taken on a different mission and uh, in fact you were recognized for it. Tell me about it. Uh, about two years ago I was given the opportunity to start investigating gangs in Springfield. Um, pretty much started with nothing. Um, this last at the end of the month of August the 25th, 26th, and 27th I attended the Tennessee Gang Investigators Association Conference in Chattanooga. Um, the association consists of about 10 board members. Um, there were about, I believe there were five other officers across the state that were in the running and uh, I won the votes, and I won this year. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I mean, to be recognized for several years of hard work, it doesn't happen too often for officers, does it? It, it doesn't, um, but I just want to add that um, I did this because I do not like what's going on um, with the gang problem that we have around here. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm interested in it. I enjoy working it, and I'm going to continue to keep doing what I'm doing. What makes a person want to volunteer for such a job? You know, uh, the opportunity presented itself. I've always been interested in that type of uh, work. Um, I do want to be a detective with the agency one day, and I just I saw it as a perfect perfect fit for me. Let's help everybody understand what that type of work is. What do you do for a living now? I currently am considered a narcotics agent. Um, I have taken on the role of the gang investigation for the city of Springfield. Um, Gangs and narcotics go together. That's just a, that's just a natural thing. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty good fit. Uh, like I said, when I started, I had n no clue what I was doing. I had not investigated gangs ever in my life. I've investigated drugs. Um, I was fortunate enough uh, to kind of be taken under the wing of the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department. Um, they helped me out tremendously. Uh, they got me started. Um, basically, implemented the same system that they use, and I just took it from there. You've also done a little innovating yourself as far as getting certain aspects of things computerized, is that right? I have. I have. I, uh, I created our department's uh, gang database. It's just a way that I track. Um, that in turn gets sent to the TBI, which is the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, who have helped me out tremendously. I'm also with the uh, ROCIC, which is the, reg the Regional Organized Crime Information Center. I take my information, I send it to them, they enter it, and that's, that's how we know who these guys are. So I'm going to gather that apparently we have enough gang activity to warrant some kind of a spreadsheet. There is enough gang activity to warrant that, yes. What is that doing to Springfield? I mean, if you could completely remove all the gang activity right now, what would go away? What, 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 is, what is the gang activity doing to us here? Well, our gang activity, as most everybody knows, with gangs, there are narcotics. The two go hand in hand. Um, where you have narcotics, it doesn't matter if you're in Nashville, if you're in Springfield, if you're in Clarksville, it doesn't matter. If you have narcotics, you're going to have gangs. It's their lifeblood. So what external resources do you reach out to? Who, who supports you? That's where we're fortunate. Um, we have the Metro Police Department. Um, they've been a huge help. We have the TBI, who's also been a huge help. Uh, we work every day together with the Roberts County Sheriff's Office and their narcotics guys. Um, so we do have other resources. It's not just myself and my partner here with the city. In the future, I would love to see a devoted unit that deals with this instead of just one or two people. That, in, in a perfect world, would be that'd be ideal. I would love for there not to be gangs in Springfield, but that is that is a uh, that's an unreal, 
goal. Um, there's nothing you can do to completely remove gangs from a community. Um, I think that's probably the million dollar question. What do you do? Uh, you manage it. Um, you get with your court systems. Um, you get with your district attorney's office. You make sure that everybody's on board and you prosecute these guys and you use the gang laws that Tennessee's created, you know, for, for our own good. Uh, get these guys stiffer penalties. You know, get these guys longer jail sentences for committing crimes being gang members. That's where we want to be. If you're looking for new furniture, there's no reason to drive for miles. Stuart Williams Furniture is conveniently located in the heart of Springfield on Memorial Boulevard with over 30,000 square feet of fine furnishings. We have over 90 years of experience and carry major brands like Ashley, Lazy Boy, Lane, Hillsdale, Frigidaire, and many more. Our friendly professional staff is ready to help you with all of your questions. We know the importance of finding the right price in the right wood, color, fabric, and design. We also offer fine to make your purchase a little easier on your budget. Are the kids in need of a new bed? Maybe dad needs a new recliner to unwind after a long day. Or is it time to spring for that new flat screen TV you've always wanted? We guarantee competitive prices, the best brand names with professional delivery and installation. So remember, at Stewart Williams, customer satisfaction is our top priority. So come see us today.